Hallo. From this video onwards, I'm going to try to speak in English. Like you guys are saying that uh, you have some language barriers. I thought of like uh, I'll do in uh, English so that everyone can understand. So um, as I said, uh, some basic videos had been uploaded in Tamil. So I'll I'll explain those tips in this video. So this video will be like. little bit longer so stay with me basically i am going to teach you guys a full stack development course in front end i am going to use an angular and in back end i am going to use spring boot this is a spring boot setup so first of all you guys need to download java as spring boot is basically a java framework where we can develop web application cloud application anything we want so i am going with version 21 so this is like a stable version so that we can rely on it other than that we need an ide like uh, you you guys know about ides like integrated development and all that so for beginners i am suggesting uh, intellij so this would be nice you can download a community edition which is enough for us like we don't need pro editions or ultimate editions so now it's enough so after installing everything you guys need to go to spring initializer website so basically if you have ultimate edition you can directly create a spring project in the intellij itself but if you are not having ultimate edition like me you can just go to spring initializer for example i already told you java is there in spring boot version i am going to select 3.4.1 because it's not a snapshot it's a stable version after that this is the group name artifact name uh, so the group name is basically like uh, a pa a kind of a grouping of the whole packages for example we will create many packages like repository package will be there many packages will be there right so for that we need some grouping name so this is going to be on group name so we can give any group names like for example if i am giving dom dot series so this is going to be on group name so and the artifact name is going to be like what's your application name so my application is like if it is testing application we can get testing it so like that we can do and description already you know and the package name is already set to testing i told you right so this is like grouping of packages so the base package is going to be the name of the artifact and packaging is going to be jar so when we are building web application we can use var so when we are going in production environment we can use var but for now for time sake i am using jar okay so select jar then after that Uh, i already told you i am going with version 21 so it's version 21 so and also we can add dependencies so basically we need uh, first thing is like spring web this is the basic dependency after that we may need dev tools which will uh, improve our developer efficiency after that we can use um, as we are going to connect some databases we may need some jpa action so we'll select the spring data jpa after that for my in my case i am using mysql so a yeah, mysql driver will be needed i think that's it for now after that if you want any dependencies we can directly go to uh, maven repo okay in maven repository every library is will be there so we can uh, easily access those things there and also here we need to select gradle or maven i am selecting maven so basically gradle and maven are like build tools so it is basically helpful for us to package our application and uh, do the dependency management and many other things so it is going to be useful for us so now i am selecting maven maven is basically an xml stuff so we can now rely on maven if you guys want some serious json stuff you can go with gradle okay so that's the point then if i click generate it will generate me an zip file so inside the zip file the whole project will be there after you create i already created the project so only i closed that so this is the created project for example i created the project with com.ph.management like this is the whole uh, namespace and management is the package so if you see this is the main application right so from here the whole application will run for example if you see the run method is there Okay. the run method is going to run the whole application so this is the starting point of the application if you see here itself there is a run button so this is going to be the main 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 source like it will be inside the main java and the whole namespace inside the namespace the application will be 
now i'll talk about the file structure so basically src every software application src is the main folder right so when we open the src we will get main and test so test folder as we know it's for testing and main folder is the main where we will write the source code and java uh, resources we will we'll we will come and see but the java is the main main part and also an important information is that as we created the artifact with the management as a name that means in this project i created using management as a name we need to create every folders and files inside this uh, uh, com.erg.management or else it won't work because this management application that means runnable application is inside this folder right so we need to create every folders and files inside this that's what i said this is a base package so this is the main file after this thing we have the form.xml okay so form.xml so this is like the source file of the uh, whole maven okay whole maven tool for example here only we will manage the dependencies we will give instruction for how to build the project those kinds of things will be managed inside the form.xml so this is going to be an important file for us so we need to keep that in mind okay and another important file is this uh, inside resources application.yml so when you first open the application which you had download from the spring initializer you will see application.properties okay you can change the name to application.yml also like i like the format of uh, yaml so i wrote the application.yml okay you can you guys can use the properties format itself property format will be in single line this is like in structured format so i, I had used application.yml so this application.yml is also a very important file it is inside the resources right so inside the application.yml we will configure everything literally everything i am saying like the database password the database uh, url uh, and also like uh, if our application consists of other things like uh, encryption decryption those kinds of things also we can like the whole application management will be done by this file uh, the static and template folder are for like we are building full stack application so basically we don't need these things there is a library known as timely okay so using the timely itself we can create the whole uh, web application in the back end itself like we can use html and we can embed the data from the spring boot to the to the html pages so that's what the static and template so inside the static we can have the html pages and everything that's not what we are going to do like we are going to develop an front end and back end application right so for front end i i already said angular so for back end only this so these two folders are not required so we can delete these things these files you know so git ignore is like uh, uh, we are going to push this to any git repositories right so in, if you are going to push into the git repository we don't need any static files or any libraries right so mm, whatever files which are files and folders which are mentioned in the dot ignore file will be ignored when we are going to push into the git okay or we are going to commit to the git and help.md is about like uh, official documentation of the spring boot we don't need this thing and uh, mvnw and mvnw.cmd is going to be like to uh, these are the maven command so when you want to run the application using terminal or any consoles you can use these things like mvnw and mvnw.cmd these two things are scripts you can write uh, you can run these scripts inside the console and you can run the spring boot application but we are in intellij right so we can do uh, everything in an uh, like gui manner not in an i'll i'll show you the console manner also but now it's fine actually there is a concept known as mvc okay that mean model view and controller so model is like the data side view is like whatever you see outside and the controller is like the computation whatever do the in between job about the data and view view okay so so the controller is the main part which will control the front end and the back end like it is the gateway for front end to access the back end so i am going to create one controller which controller will be exposed in this last test endpoint for example if this application run in www.localhost.com and in the port 8080 we can access this mapping inside this last test endpoint okay so basically i created a class known as test and so i used two annotations so basically first one is addressed controller so this addressed controller will convert this whole class into a uh, controller and this request mapping will set one basic endpoint like base endpoint if you want to access any of the endpoints inside this class 
you need to first go to this endpoint okay basically endpoint is like uh, whatever web application for example this is java right uh, this is one endpoint okay this is one endpoint this is the website and this is the endpoint for example if you remove the endpoint we will go to the base oracle.com website okay if you add endpoint will we can navigate to the whatever resource we want I am creating a URL here. So when you go slash test slash test, you can reach this method, which will return a response entity. Okay. So when we want to run the application, we we need to run this one. So if you see down there, it is building now. Start. So if you see. it is running in the port 8080 all right and a uh, major advantage in spring boot is like we need we don't need to have any special servers like tomcat or glassfish for uh, hosting this application it is already embedded inside spring boot application itself so when we it is started in 8080 right so when we go local host 8080 it is saying white page labeler right this is due to we didn't map the home page to anywhere so it is showing as white page labeler but if you go to test slash test it will show you hello which is returned here if you see which is returned here okay hello is returned so if you see or inspect anywhere the source will contain hello which is coming from the local host 8080 test slash test okay so this is what i am speaking like this local host the local host 8080 is going to be like our website and the slash test is going to be the base and other slash test is going to be the main endpoint so when you want to access this endpoint you can directly go to wherever it is hosted slash test slash test which will access this whole method and this method is returning and response entity so it is showing us hello so this is the flow so this will be an basic video other than that i'll i'll continue on the development and i'll share you like what are the basic things like dependency injection what are the beans are known as like what is annotation what are these things mean what is mean by request mapping what is mean by response entity those kinds of things i'll update you guys on future videos thank you